Thompson. Good morning, mighty people. What was that? I, I went like this, and then I did something, and I was like, what the fuck? Who am I? Okay. It's your sweet storage move. Right? Yeah. Like anyway, it. welcome to The Breakdown with Nathan Johnny. Hey, Hi. what does today's song and this channel have in common? They're official. I mean, officially rad, but no. We could cons kind of like call our audience a pity party because they keep coming back to watch me. But they are party people. They are party people. Stand Atlantic, pity party. <laughs> Woo! Do you love the way we have these just like smooth segues? Yeah, that's great. Anyway, yeah, we love our fam in Stand Atlantic. So very excited for this brand new track featuring Royal and the Serpent. Do you know what that means? Or nope. who they are. Uh, it's, it's the it Queen is. with a snake. Imagine that! John Snake just coming over, man! Don't know why I did that actually. Well, yeah, you should. I thought you were going to go British. Like, hello, I'm the Queen and I've got a giant snake here. Would you like to stroke my giant snake? Oh. And, uh, and now they're hideous. <laughs> All right, like, on. subscribe, socials, merch. Pat your mum. No, pat your dog. Say hi to your mum. Drink some water. Why do you keep coming back? Three, two, one. Pat your mum. It's like a drug, you love sympathy Genuine deficit, people watch you bleed Make it up, sell your drugs, not the tragedy Yeah, yeah The slow motion crash, foot on the gas Nobody say Fancy little fella, that was great. The fancy fella is from twirling. Yeah. Uh, this I like, is... I'm loving his hair. I, the mullet, it's fantastic. Yeah, bit of fringe, bit of mullet, bit of yep. a pin earring. Fun. Yep. Uh, aggressive chorus. Yes. Yeah, they have been leaning into a little bit of that territory, but this, I think, this goes back to a little bit more of that really driven pop uh, sound that we like from San Atlantic. Pop angst. Yes. Pangst. <laughs> Hey, I, um, I was gonna say I was like, nah, that sounds dumb. I might be an idiot. Oh, <laughs> I understand. <laughs> yeah, but has she always played guitar? Am, am I just forgetting that she's a guitarist as well? Or is this a new thing? Uh, she's definitely played guitar on stage before. And I've seen her, but I don't remember seeing it in film clips. Okay. Either way, gonna press play now. Cool. Queen looks good. Yeah, she's looking up. formulaic about this song. This is has a very interesting tempo and feel to it. Yeah, it's definitely um, sort of new ground for them in a way, but but it still sounds exactly like them, which is which is awesome. Yeah, exciting. I'm gonna take back to the two minute flight mark here. Do it. Do Let's it. have this scream. Anchor. <laughs>
like the key change right at the end there. I just like that song. That was catchy as hell. Um, and Can't that's going to go straight on my my Femical Romance playlist, which is all epic women doing epic things in rock, punk, hardcore, and metal. So get amongst it. Um, yeah, they're, they're such a great band, man. I'm so proud that they're Australian. Yeah, same. They're, it's so sick. They're doing great things in terms of... I don't know how to say this without being a dick, but you know how some bands rely heavily on having a cool female yep. front? And so they just rely on being like, that's the artist and it's all about her. I love yep. that there is the band behind them and it is about sure. a, like the whole experience. Um, but like, she's crazy talented, but that whole band's so Because talented. I'm a friend... I'm gonna I'm gonna back you up and I'm gonna sound like more of a dick. Okay? <laughs> yeah, because I don't want you to lose followers and stuff. Me, I don't care. I'm a piece of shit. Mac. Um, no, but to sound kind of along those lines, but more of a dick. You're right. It is it is easy to have a cool um, female frontman with front woman with a great voice, um, but also to have such a strong identity, such a strong character, and not be, for use of a better term. Basically, a paramour carbon copy. Yeah, I, I, they, and I know that they sounds shit. Paramour, which is what yeah. you're trying to say there. Yeah. But yeah, I think you can say that without being paramour amazing. I love them yeah. as a band, but it is the Haley Williams show. Yes, and was since the second album. Yeah, exactly. Because you have her as a very dominant front woman, whereas I think the cool thing here is that they've allowed themselves to be a band. Yes. First and foremost. Yes. Bonnie's obviously very strong and still at the front of things, but it is still about the music and the band in general, which I think is really, really cool there. That was a fun film clip too. It was. There was a lot of things getting destroyed and broken, and you know I like to smash stuff because I'm essentially a child in a man's body. Um, he has child's feet. That's the thing you can't see. Tiny very, very little very feet small. at the bottom. You know what they say about people with false, small, false meat? Jesus Christ. Fuck false it. meat. Anyway. Ah, you say false meat. <laughs> I do have false meat. No, I don't know. Welcome to um, Breakdown with Nathan Johnny with the artificial dick. What? <laughs> Let's talk about the feature. I knew nothing of Royal and the Serpent, and I'm assuming that Royal and the Serpent is another band, and that is the front woman for that band. I thought she was really cool. I thought that she worked in seamlessly. I don't know enough to comment on how that sits amongst what she does. Mm. Um, but yeah, I thought it was... Look, it didn't necessarily make or break the song but I thought it was integrated really well, and it was it was good. I liked her tone. I think she complemented Bonnie's vocals well, because she has a bit more of an aggressive tempo. She had a bit more of that, like, pretty um, vulnerability to her voice. Oh, good word. Thank you. I was really searching for that one. Yeah, that's all right. Um, On this yeah. channel, you get some good moments, and the rest of it's just us. Yeah, he's absolutely right. And um, I, we're kind of bumbling through the rest of this. But anyway. Are we? No, <laughs> are we? I'm, I'm bumbling through life. Hey, let us know what you thought. Um, if you are from the other side of the globe and you've never checked out Stand Atlantic, please do a deep dive. They're a really great band. Uh, they have joined us on the channel before as well, so we really appreciate them. And we just love them as people. And we also love you as people. We do. We think you're incredibly good. You do great things. Like that.